How's it going, everybody? I'm some guy named Nate, and we are playing Dangling Grandpa Trigger Happy Grandpa. On the last installment, the class trial was over, and someone got killed. I'm not gonna say who. It's too late. What happened? I have a favor to ask. Hey, what? What's your favor? Remember what Sakura said at the end of her note? I'm not going to just lay down and die. I will fight you. I want to find out what she meant by that. Okay, but how do you plan on doing that? Uh, well, then Kyoko put her lips next to my ear and whispered sweet nothings. What's she going to whisper? The data center on the fourth floor. What? Goodbye. I'll meet you there. That's hot. I'll see you on the fourth floor. Without another word, she was gone. She was dust. What the? Her words reverberated through my half-dazed head. The data center. But I thought it was locked. Ah! Run! Midnight, midnight, mid, 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 midnight. I made my way to the after-hour school. I headed to the data center on the fourth floor. Whoosh. Oh my god. Eventually, I wound up at the data center. But when I arrived, Kyoko's not here. That's weird. She said she'd meet me. Is she maybe inside already? I put my hand to the door with a certain amount of force. Rattle, rattle. It didn't open. I tried it again, but... Rattle, rattle. It must be locked! What? What was, that? what was that Kyoko said? The dinner center on the fourth floor? Oh, man. Uh-huh. What are you doing up, mister? Gah. Breaking into locked rooms is incredibly prohibited, don't you know? Oh, well, um, I guess I just... You're trying to tell me you didn't actually bust it in yet, right? But I can see that, you dolt. Don't waste my time telling me crap I can see for myself. It looked like it might break in at any second, so I just thought I'd give you a friendly reminder. Oh, are you gonna go and tell me if you were sleepwalking or something? No, nothing like that. It's three o'clock in the morning for crying out loud. Even I get tired, you know. Stop being weird and go back to bed. What's wrong now? Just a second. Yes, I was right. Why are you out here making a racket, Yoko? <laughs> no, you. Yeah, exactly. You guys? Whatever. The two of you just get back in bed. I'm positively exhausted from the class trial. It's true. Sure, you got it. Come on, Makoto, let's head back. What? Hey. Didn't you hear me? We're leaving. I have no idea what's going on anymore. Shall Don't worry about it, let's just go. Okay. <gasps> yeah, yeah, get on, get out of here, shoo shoo. Fine fucker, that was weird. So we left, we went back to our rooms. Oh man, and then, goodbye. so, goodbye. Hold on. Listen, what was all that about just now? She woke me up, she made me go to the data center, which just so happened to be locked. And then she shows up late and without checking a single thing, what was the point of all that? Ooh. Don't worry about it. I figured out it would be embedded in our conversation just like always, but... Goodbye. Well then, good night. Sh sure. And then, that was over. Whoosh, back to bed. But as I turned to leave, she whispered again. Mukuro Ikusaba. Was that her real name? Mukuro Ikusaba. <laughs> what? Kyoko was right next to me once again, whispering into my ear. Mukuro Ikusaba. Mukuro Ikusaba. I wonder who that is. The 16th student, lying hidden somewhere in the school. Man. The one they call the ultimate despair. Oh, so he's probably like a demon child or something. He's probably the one who whacked me in the noodle. Watch out for her. Are you sure it's a girl? There's more girls. Chapter 4. All-star apologies. Done. The end. Who's not dead? <laughs> So there's just six of us. Ooh, but there's the seventh. Where's the seventh person? To be continued again. Shittles, guys. But that's okay, we got time. <laughs> you received the alter lump, which is what fucking alter ego turned into. That's hilarious. And it's also sad, yes. Hooray, four by gore. Alright, save that shit. Next, chapter five, guys. Makuro Ikusaba. Is that an anagram for something? What? Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student, lying hidden somewhere in this school. Exactly. The one they call the ultimate despair. Super despair. Watch out for her. She'll kill you. She'll stab you in the jimmies. Kyoko told me to watch out for her. Mukuro Ikusaba. That was three days before the next incident. Three days before we'd be faced with another murder. Oh, three days before the worst thing so far, it would reveal itself. Well, that looks like Hero's coat, so hopefully he bit the big one. Maybe. Whoosh, chapter 5. 100 mile dash. Pain of a junk food junkie. Damn. 
Well, Hina likes donuts, so I'm assuming that's it. In the meantime, the day after soccer's class trial, that morning in the dining hall, some sh everyone was crying. Hmm. So, let's begin the usual post-trial investigation. Hmm. Yeah, hey, did you make a uh, small talk or anything? We never got straight to the point like that. Hmm. If you want to keep up with me, you must refrain from pointless small talk. Hmm. Jeez, how high is that horse of yours? Well, he just acts like that to hide his own insecurities or whatever. That's what I like to think anyways. Regardless, if you want to defeat the mastermind, you need to follow my lead. They creep around the school like a mouse, but the mastermind's pride is bloated like a cow's udder. And no matter what it takes, I will rid the world of them. Poor Taco. Hey Taco, you've been pretty quiet. She's still quiet. Man, was he just woo? Man, you're so boring now. Just sit there like a mushroom. I'm gonna start calling you Miss Mushroom. Aww. She didn't snap back at you? Her talking makes things difficult, so I told her not to open her mouth without permission. What? She can't open her mouth? She can't eat or drink water? I don't care. You're okay with that, Taco? Oh, man. Jeez. How low is that rock you're hiding under? I believe this is the small talk Biaki Yaka warned us against. And yet, I let myself get involved. But, it is now finished. I'll never allow you to drag me down. Nobody can drag me down to your level again. We're going to begin our search. Stop running your mouths and start moving your legs. Pressured by an obviously irritated Biyaki Yaki Yaku, we all started our exploration. Damn. Oh my gorsh. What, what can I investigate? Oh yeah, there's going to be a fifth floor. Let me just warp. I have 256 Dima dollars. There you go. We're on the top floor because I swear that there was a staircase. I swear there was a stair. Let me check. Yep, there's a staircase over here, and it's available. Yeah! Pow, to floor five. Because that's how schools work. Hooray! So here I am on the fifth floor of Hope's Peak Academy. It's like they had one floor a chapter or something. The fifth floor had been opened up to us, and it's totally different from all the other floors we've seen up until now. For some reason, it feels unpleasant. Ooh, what's up here? Ooh, wrong button. So we got classroom 5A and classroom 5B. We got, looks like there's a gym. We got a plant. Let's look at all this shit. Classroom 5-1. Here we go, exploring the fifth floor. We got leopard print walls. Nighttime secrets. No, more. He's so dirty. Stomp, stomp. Oh, oh, I got it. That's that's supposed to be Makoto. And that's Junko's big hot boots stepping on him. And he's like, oh man, I love those steps. Leave the area. Cool. Everything is getting together. Ooh, look at that. Look at, look at the bamboo growing in the school. Bamboo grown in the school. Don't act like a fool. There's bamboo grown in the school. This one looks like zebra print. Ooh, we got more funny caricatures. Ha ha, catch me if you can. Wake up, I'm gonna get ya. Gross. Oh, so this is supposed to be Makoto again. And who the hell is drawing all these? Huh, does she want to talk to me about something? Toko, what's wrong? Say something, Taco. Is she trying to say something? I think she's almost just a little more... And I might get it. Oh my god. I'm sorry, but I have no idea what you're trying to tell me. She just let her shoulders drop. She looks sad. I guess she gave up. Fine. Later, Taco. I'm running from my feelings. Something, something. What's down here? Oh, Hina. My friendo. This floor feels different compared to all the other floors. I'm not sure what it is, though. There's some reason for that. I hope it's not anything too creepy. Probably something really creepy. What's this? Next classroom. It's gonna go boom. Oh my god. Well, there's the creepy classroom for you. What the hell is this? And why is it blood red instead of pink blood? The grotesque horror in this room stuck me hard and fast. What I saw was bad enough, but what I smelled, it was sour, pungent, and possibly rank. It smells awful, doesn't it? it? Smells like my farts. It's. It must be the at least vaguely familiar to you, after all. You've been around a fair share of corpses. Are you saying it's the smell of death, their flesh and fat and blood? There was no surprise in his voice. No shock. But he was right. I had experienced the smell more than once before. It was the smell of death and despair. But the smell here is, is strong, condensed in the smell of a battlefield. Monokuma must have... No! What? My fault again! Stop trying to blame everything on me! If you hadn't done what you did, this never would have happened, says Nate. No, no, no. It's quite the opposite. The opposite? Yep, let me give you an itty bitty, eejee squeegee little hint. As far as this room goes, I don't know a thing. I just, it, it, I just left it exactly as I found it. I thought it was cool. What? 
How's that for a hint? Better than those stupid hints you get from NPCs, I mean, than those mean old RPGs. Saving. I love all the stupid fourth wall breaking. It knows it's a video game, but it's pretty scary, huh? Blood all over the walls and junk? Of course. Even if the outside world people die, bloody gruesome deaths every day. So it's not a really big deal to keep your chin up. Keep your chin up, soldier. Win or lose, you should always hold your head up high. And keep on living. Soldier! Whoosh! What's he talking about? He just left it the way he found it. What's the meaning of all these? Oh, shittles. Oh my god. Well, I guess I got a little bit of time to interact with some shit, so here we go. There are some white chalk outlines drawn all over the ground. A lot of people died in here. I've seen this kind of thing in detective shows and stuff like that. You always see that in the scene of a murder. I wish I could say I don't believe it, but it's right there. Okay, we got the blood stain. We just interact with the, <gasps> with the red blood stain instead of the pink blood stains that you're supposed to see. There's blood all over the place. I want to shut my eyes forever against the ghastly sight. Hmm. It appears all these blood stains are dry. And their color change as well. I think it's safe to assume these are considerably old. This is all really old blood. Hmm. Of course, I wouldn't find it. it, it bleh, I wouldn't find it interesting otherwise. And it is interesting, I assure you. What on earth happened in this classroom? He seems like he's enjoying himself. No way I can keep him with someone like that. Okay, we got the camera, we got a monitor, and we got some other shit. Eye for an eye. No matter what, these famous cameras are following our every mood. I mean, they're absolutely everywhere. How many cameras does this place have? Ugh. We got money though. 257. Okay, nothing over here. Let's rotate the camera. Okay, we got a door that's barricaded and the monitor. So let's do the monitor first because they'll probably say the same thing. This is when the monitor just like, appears on, but it's be useless. See, no, it is totally useless. Door that's barricaded. Whoosh. The area. Oh, that's the ex that's the exit. Okay, I'll talk to Byaku Shimaku. And then we'll leave. Hmm. Byakuya, do you know about what Monokuma just told us? It's all like, I'm not even here. You must be lost in thought. Is he really thinking that hard, or is he flat out ignoring me? Whatever, fuck you too, bro. Okay, now what? Oop, wrong button. I have to explore all this shit. So there's a big thing at the end of this jumbo hallways. Raw! Oh, to the bio lab. Rattle, rattle. It's locked. We came all this way just to be denied here. The sign on the wall says bio lab. A bio lab that we're permitted from seeing into? Kind of sounds like something out of an old cheesy horror movie. Blech. Rotate, damn it. Uh, what else is on this floor? Secret door. Hey, just all humans installed. Nice. So there's just the plant room and then this dojo type thing. Whoosh. To the dojo. And this will be the last episode I record today, guys. So hopefully I have enough backlog. Ooh, it is. It's a Zen garden. Nice. Mess with the drum. I'll, mess with, I'll talk to you in a second. It's a straw post used for sword practice. It's also used for training. Do they use for training here? Boom. Money for NATO. Right, let's talk to Kiyokiyoko about the soccer, a blood garden thing. What, what Kyoko told me yesterday? What the heck did all that mean? Whoosh. Mikuro Ikusaba, the 16th student, lying hidden somewhere in this school. Probably in that stupid lab that's locked. Boom. Watch out for her. Oh, she'll probably show up at the end of this chapter. She's probably the one that murdered whoever's gonna get murdered in three days. Um, Kyoko? I'm not gonna say anything. Huh? I can't say anything. Kyoko narrowed her eyes. Whoosh. Her gaze dared, darted up at that surveillance camera. You understand why, right? She was trying to tell me that whatever it was, it was important, but the mastermind couldn't find out. How did Kyoko get her hands on information that would be so important? So We're finished here. She made it very clear that our conversation had come to an end. And just like the usual, I didn't understand anything. Better than before. Blech. What is in here? Ooh, we got we got the Sakura petals on our act of the wall here. Even though this room is totally enclosed, there's a cherry tree planted in here, and it's in full bloom. Hey. It's quite elegant. This is what you consider elegant? Indeed. I lived overseas for a long time, so this sort of Japanese-style scenery is refreshing. But considering our situation, isn't it kind of out of place? Talk to the samurai suit. The suit of armor is on display, and it's extremely Japanese. <laughs> wow, you don't say. More money. And then there's another speaker, it doesn't matter. The area, yes. Did those lights turn on? I think they did. Okay, so let's go to the gardens. Ooh. Is that light I see? Let's go to the gardens, guys. Whoosh. Oh, nice. We got a ton of vile plumes and a jumbo-ass flower in the middle. What's up, Stoner Joe? I know you're liking this shit. Yo. At first I thought I saw blue skies, but turns out it's just a painted walls and ceiling. You know. Oh, but the plants are real. It's been a while since I've smelled vegetation. It helps me relax. That's not what you're thinking, is it? Huh? Why? Is it that bad? Hmm. Don't you get it? Don't you realize the true horror of plant life? It's there, just beneath the surface, beneath their calm exterior, they're always watching and waiting. 
and when they decide they can't leave us in charge of Earth anymore, they'll put their plan into global human extinction into action. I'm serious. Oh man. Okay, there's something on the wall, and there's like a booth here. So let me rotate the camera. Hold up, talk to this thing. There's some kind of control panel near the wall. Does it control the air conditioning or something? No! It's for the sprinklers! Sprinklers? Yeah, it controls the sprinklers in the garden. The sprinklers are set to go off every morning at 7.30. Don't you dare change that without permission. Uh, of course, the settings panel is locked, so you couldn't change it even if you wanted to. So that means the sprinklers go off at 7.30 a.m. each morning? Yep, you got it. It's super user-friendly, which sucks. So, if you get here too early, you'll get drenched. So watch yourself. But you're not a, like a little kid, right? You're never too old to go running through sprinklers anyway. Or T has some kind of water fetish. I'm gonna tell everyone! Is anyone really into water? Like, sexually, probably. Is this a chicken coop? What's a chicken coop doing in here? Whoosh. <gasps> There's chickens! This place even has chickens, huh? They're just regular chickens, right? Like, they don't eat people or lay bombs instead of eggs or something crazy like that. It seems safe. Ooh, I can interact with every single chicken. I'm gonna do it. Fuck you. It's a chicken. It doesn't have, like, a second form, right? What about this chicken? It's a chicken. It's really alive, right? There's no mistake. Third chicken! It's a chicken. It really is, right? Like, can I say that for sure? Man, Colonel Sanders is gonna be pissed. It's a chicken. They're not expecting to be fed, like, humans, is it? Last chicken! It's a chicken. It's not gonna lay a bomber, is it? Oh crap, wrong button. Okay, yeah, I can only interact with the five chickens. Step away from the chicken coop? Yeah. Someone's gonna get killed in the chicken coop. Oh, you like chickens too, Makoto. Yeah, I love these little guys. They're seriously, like, cute, right? There's exactly five of them right here. Exactly. Five. You know, like, the number becomes after four and before six, at least in terms of natural numbers? Anyway, whenever the number five pops up, that's a good omen. It contains mysteries of the cosmos. And this number of power, a refreshing number on par with the hand-squeezed all-natural lemonade. He never gets... <laughs> I'd put chicken in the lemonade if you let me. Ack, ack, ack. He never lets me get a word in edgewise. What else can I interact with here? Ooh, I can interact with the jumbo-ass flower. Look at this jumbo-ass penis flower. Ooh, what is this? This thing is super weird and super creepy. Flowers aren't supposed to be this big. Is that thing real? Oh, man. Watch out! Whoop. That's a Monokuma flower. I can't believe the name myself. Try and touch it and you're in for some real excitement. Your heart's all like, whoa, and the plant's all like, snap, and your flesh is all like, Bleh. I'm dead. And in other words, it's a monstrosity. Oh, it's pretty freaking amazing. Well, amazing, if I do say so myself. As a student, or, ugh, a student at Hope's Peak added improvement after improvement after improvement and created a miracle creature, the ultimate botanist. Although, they don't go here anymore. They died during the tragedy. By the way, despite how it looks, that flower is super practical. It can eat paper, plastic, even people. So it's totally good for the environment. Such an eco-friendly creation is vital for the future growth of, of a healthy society. Not that I'd know anything about that for myself. <laughs> Whoosh. Spouting more and more nonsense. Monokuma eventually disappeared. Whoosh. Whatever it is, I better keep my distance from the Monokuma flower, but there was a dollar in it, so I guess that's fine. What else? Okay, we got a camera and another shed. I'll interact with the shed, and then that'll be the end of this episode. Ton of exploring. Just to be sure, I took a look at that tool shed. Whoosh. Oh, man. Ooh, tons of murdering tools. This place seems to be totally disorganized, from a lawnmower to fertilizer to flower pots to farm tools. And leaning against the back wall, is that a pickaxe? Okay, let's interact with the safe stuff first. Here's a pot. So many flower pots. Big ones, little ones, ones that climb on rocks. Any size you might need. Maybe I'll grow some flowers or some weed and put it in my room. I would put weed in my room. Don't judge. There's a lawnmower here. Even with it here, who actually is going to take care of my lawn? That's what she said. Is that in a window for taking care of my lawn? What else is here? Oh, yeah, we got, we got some weapons and we got some manure. But the pickaxe. Crazy dot. Oh, man. That's hilarious, huh? There's something carved into the handle of this pickaxe. It's Mondo's pickaxe. Crazy diamond. I feel like I remember seeing that somewhere. Oh, man. It is Mondo's pickaxe. There's all different kinds of gardening tools here. Are they trying to get us to become self-sufficient? And the poo. Ugh, bags of fertilizer are all piled up. There's so many different kinds to choose from. Smelly, big, double smelly. There's money right there on the fertilizers. That's cool. We interact with that and that and that. Cool. That's all. That takes care of that annoying peanut butter. Whoosh. Is there anything else in this room I can interact with? Huh? 
interact with the camera, and I can talk to Hero some more. Then I'll talk to Hero, and then I'll back out. Hero, what do you want to talk about? Hey. Don't you believe me, Makoto? Hmm. It's there, just beneath the surface, beneath their calm exterior. They're always watching and waiting. And when they decide they can't leave Earth with us any longer, the they'll put their plan in their room. Yeah, I know. Well. I'm serious. For serious. There you go. He just doesn't like plants. I guess I've seen what it is to see you up here for now. But once again, I found nothing that makes any real sense. I need to head back to the dining hall and figure out what the others are talking about. Ugh. Ugh. what I'm saying. There's not many people left. Ugh. One after another, everyone made it to the dining hall. Before too long, whoosh, all six of us. It would appear everyone has returned. But still, it's like, it's just six of us. It's barely enough for a decent volleyball team. Hey, don't be a sourpuss. We gotta think positive. Besides, even if one more person dies, we can still do a field basketball team. That's true. That's like reverse positive thinking. Anyway, there's no time to be depressed. For the sake of everyone we've lost, we have to do our best. Can we stop all this group hug nonsense? We need to find out what everyone discovered. And on the next installment of Dangling Grandpa Trigger Happy Grandpa, we are going to fucking... Uh, wait, crap, I can't say over that one. We're going to do this one. We are going to freaking find out what everyone's talking about. And I'll see you in the next Wumbo episode of Dig and Rumpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't kill anyone out there.